Ilya Framanoff vs. Tunley just got booked for the interim featherweight title on One Prime Night 15 this upcoming October, and I am pumped for this fight. Both of these guys are exciting stand-up artists. Tunley has a ton of power behind his hands, and Framanoff has a crazy style. He's gotten two first-round knockouts in the last time, the last few times he's been competed in one. And meanwhile, Tunley hasn't competed for over a year since August when he lost to Tang Kai. This fight should be compelling, but I am going to lean for Tun Lee here. The problem with Framanoff is that he is way too hittable on the feet, and I don't trust his chin, especially since he got knocked down and hurt badly by a bantamweight MMA striker. Tun Lee, on the other hand, has way more power inside of his hands, just the way that he leveled Martin Yuen back in 2020. And yes, Ilya Framanoff was also able to finish Martin Yuen even faster, but I think that Martin Yuen was a little different. He was far past his prime at that point. I just don't think that he's going to be able to find the range that he needs to for Framanoff. Mitt Framanoff might just be blitzing in, and Tun Lee, who does an exceptional job at controlling that range, is going to be able to catch him coming in. Framanoff's best strategy here is to get into the clinch because he does do a lot of great work there. He's at Tiger Muay Thai after all. He can hit him with those devastating knees. And Tun Lee's age does worry me a tad. He's 38 years old and he hasn't fought for over a year. However, you also have to take into account that Ilya Framanoff broke his orbital bone in his last fight. And it wasn't that long ago. It was back in June. And you're going to have to wonder how is, how is that going to come into play for this one upcoming fight. So the early prediction is I'm going to go with Tun Lee getting a first round knockout and we're, that's going to set up a rematch between him and Tang Kai for the NRC booted featherweight title. This one fight night card in October is going to look exceptional. This is the fourth title fight on there. Jonathan DeBella versus Daniel Williams is kind of a random fight but it should be entertaining. The one that I did was not expecting was Fabricio Andrade versus Jonathan Haggerty. That one was just kind of crazy. Two guys in completely different sports fighting for a different title in a different sport altogether. Should be fun. And then, of course, the main event between Tao and Shai and Super Bowl, and that one's going to be a classic chess match, man. And Mikey's also on the card. I'm surprised to see him. It's his fourth fight this far. It should be a good banger of a card. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content. Leave your own comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts on the fight are. This is Sarah TV Productions, and I'm out.